Sending review requests to build your online reputation has never been easier. First, head over to the Reputation tool and select Requests from the flyout. From there, in the Request a Review box, choose whether or not you want to send a request to a single person or send it to multiple people from an existing list. If you're planning to send a request to one person, which is the first option, simply enter the information for the customer in the field below. You can even tag the staff member that helped the customer, which will carry through to the review that the customer leaves, so you don't have to tag the staff member later. If you're planning on sending to multiple people, download the CSV template through the link to upload bulk information to send out review requests to your customers. You will need to enter the first name, last name, email, and phone number for the clients you are reaching out to. If you have multiple locations, you will want to enter the location you want the customer to leave a review on. After you fill out the sheet, simply drop it in the drop zone in the reviews tool. You will have a chance to review the list before it actually sends out the review requests once it imports. When you review the list and everything looks good, simply hit send to start the review gathering process. As customers interact with your review requests, you will see the results show up in the requests page. In the two graphs to the right of the review requests box, you will see how many requests were sent out and you can separate them out by text message versus email. You'll also see the percentage of engagement with the text messages or the emails of those who engage with your request and those who haven't engaged. If you scroll down the page, you will see a breakout of all the requests that you have sent individually and see the status of that particular customer. If you have any questions or need additional support, please don't hesitate to reach out to us through the help section of Scorpium down at the help icon below.